2025 has been a great year for ham radio gear, and today we're sharing stuff with you that we've used and loved or aspire to have. Uh, plus, if you're shopping for a ham, these are some great buys for basically all price points, or if you're just trying to stuff your own ham gear bag, uh, pay attention here. So we will get started. We each got some things that we'd like to share with you on, on items that have sort of been our favorites throughout the year. Uh, and maybe I'll go first with sort of the simple one here. And I actually got it in front of me. Uh, basically, it's something I talked about in my POTA video about the POTA bag. Uh, mm -hmm. But basically, it is just tool bags. Okay. Uh, these are zipper canvas tool bags. They come in all shapes and size. These are the Amazon branded uh, knockoff tool bags. I know there are some more expensive versions out there that you can get. However, if you are a mobile operator or you just want to keep things tidy in your shack, these are fantastic, cheap, and great ways to sort of organize what you got and keep your backpack clean. Uh, this pack here is actually from a six-pack um, on Amazon, it was $23 roughly at the time of purchase. I saw some... Six. Yeah, for six. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I know there are some Klein ones as well. So if you're on dxengineering.com, I know there's some Klein bags. So if you really care about the brand, uh, I believe it's a three-pack for about $55. Oh, yeah, that's being Klein, the, Klein tax. Exactly. Being the ham I am, uh, I'm fine with taking a Sharpie, marking the front of it so I know it's mine and, and just kind of using the bag. However, again, great organizer, simple, cheap, and something great to have in your life. Uh, so definitely one of my favorite things that I have in 2025. But Jerry, cool. what, what do you got? All right, I'm going to show you my uh, favorite thing this year, and I moved all to wire antennas for POTA this year. And so my uh, my favorite thing this year was the Nomad 19 purchase. Uh, it is basically the Soda Beams mast, but uh, rebranded by DX Engineering. This mast is just under 20 feet tall. Uh, it is an extremely durable mast. It is not uh, thin-walled. Uh, it will set up anywhere. It will handle some wind. You could leave this up for a whole weekend out there while you're camping or doing whatever you're doing. Uh, and this mast will hold up to the elements. I absolutely love it. I bought it in red, but you can get it in black or red. Yeah, you can get it in black or red. Sports car red. Sports car red. It's fast and it's also visible, so nobody trips over it. Uh, it would be pretty ridiculous otherwise. But yeah, this this mask is my favorite. It's $106 at DX Engineering. Uh, I have said over and over that I think mask prices have gotten completely ridiculous. But at $100, roughly give or take, uh, this is an excellent uh, option uh, if you're looking for something to flesh out uh, a ham's bag full of things or if you're just looking for a really nice mask uh, that will work with you in a whole bunch of different scenarios, whether it's camping, poda, soda. This is light enough to take anywhere. So that's my uh, first pick this evening, and uh, I'll send it to Rory. What do you think? So my first pick, and I have the DX Engineering website up, because every good ham does the DX Engineering website all the time, I guess, but uh, Rig Expert Match. So one thing, I, I have the older version. I have the uh, Rig Expert, I think, 650, the old version, not the, not the Zoom. And um, something I learned early on when you're working on antenna systems and, and working on your station, having a good antenna analyzer to, to look for those demons and those problems in your network is, is critical. So Absolutely. at $299.99, the Starter Rig Expert Match, um, which will give you up to 70 megahertz. is So all your HF bands. All your HF bands is a good deal. Um, they also sell the upgrades. So it's, it's done by, by soft, um, license key where you upgrade and you can get up to 500 megahertz with the same unit. So uh, I believe, um, DX engineering has, a, has a sale for up to 500 megahertz for, uh, 50 bucks right now. I guess I, I okay. don't have it here in front of me, but that's, that is a good deal. So if you're looking at spending two ninety nine ninety nine, another couple bucks to give someone all the way up to 500 megahertz would be perfect. Yeah. I, I love the, uh, the analyzer as a suggestion. If that, if your ham, uh, person that you're gifting to does not have an analyzer, uh, the rig expert is going to be the Cadillac of analyzers, to be honest with you. It will grow with them for as long as they are in this hobby. Uh, if you're looking for a less expensive option, I almost put the nano VNA on my list, but keep that in mind. If you, if you're looking for something a little cheaper, slip into the, slip into the, uh, the stocking or make it a smaller gift. It's only about $60 on Amazon. So give you an alternative, perhaps, uh, if you're looking for that. James, what's your number two? All right. No surprise here. Uh, I'll reach into my other tool bag, and I will pull out a Pactena NFED Asswave. 
Nice. Uh, if you are into mobile operating or you just sit, want a simple setup at your house, something to take up and down pretty quickly, something yep. to go really well with the mask that you just showed a couple minutes ago, Jim, there, uh, you can't beat Pactena products. They are durable, lightweight, and honestly, the performance is spectacular. The service is spectacular. Uh, they sell them on DX Engineering now. Also, the Pac-10 website still has them. They are hard to find, though. So this is probably one you're just going to pick up. Uh, DX Engineering, definitely subscribe to the Pac-10 website for updates. I have a mailing list. Uh, Pac-10, or sorry, DX Engineering website. I know you can also subscribe for in-stock notifications. Yeah, in-stock yep. notifications. But not just the Unfed Half Wave, though. Also, the Random Wire and some yep. of their accessories fantastic overall antennas. If you're a beginner, can't recommend this antenna more. So the Pactena um, NFED was, along with the Nomad, was my antenna selection for my recent California trip. So nice. those were, those are, that was a combination that I was uh, very pleased with and made all my contacts and even all the way over to Japan with the 17 meter contact. It's such a light antenna. If you haven't checked out our video uh, comparing that to the new Aerial 51 that I just added to my bag, uh, check that out. It'll give you a real good example of how well that antenna can get out. Number two for me, uh, this one is actually sort of a fun one for me. This is a kit. And so if you're a ham buddy or if you are a person that likes to build things, uh, you can buy this one of two ways. This is the Sherry Pie uh, Neo kit, and you can get this uh, in many different flavors. If you go to kitsforhams.com, uh, there are a bunch of different versions of this. In fact, uh, the new version of this actually supports the Raspberry 5 Pi. Raspberry Pi 5 is the word that I'm looking for. And the actual uh, outer shell here becomes the integral heat sink for that, which helps tremendously because these Raspberry Pis do run pretty hot. But this is an all-star node. And what this allows you to do is connect your network to this. I have a little antenna here. This is my receiving antenna for the radio, but this connects to your Wi-Fi network and allows you to use your radio anywhere in the world and talk to your buddies back locally on the repeater that is connected to all-star. So if you have not experimented with all-star, if you have a ham, uh, person that is not ready to jump into the C4FM digital or the D-Star digital yet, but wants to use their HT uh, to talk further than they can, these are super cool. I take this with me camping now, and I can call back and I can get Rory on his porch in the middle of the summer. I can talk to James up in Clarkston when I'm up north at the top of Michigan. Uh, neat little kits. Buy it two ways. Uh, the There we go, kitsforhams.com. Uh, uh, you can buy this uh, a number of different ways, but around 150-ish bucks as a kit and then about 220 bucks uh, if you're going to buy it pre-built from the factory. Uh, and they do a really nice job assembling it. If, if, if you're not handy, if you're not feeling like you want to spend the time to solder, uh, Steve over at Kits for Hams will take care of you and you know that you're getting a quality product. So I love my uh, Sherry Pie. Highly recommended. Uh, go out and grab one if you have not already added one to your kit. Yeah, you know, Steve NADR, who is the, the mastermind behind Kits for Hams, along with his daughter and son-in-law, who are part of part of the program now. Um, they're close friends of the channel. I have, I believe, four, maybe five products. Fine there. Oh, nice. Well, you know, I need I need my all-star access in different places. I leave one at work. I have three at home and I have one that lives in the car. So, you know, that that adds up to five pretty quick. They're they're nice things to have. I enjoy all-star. Um, if you're, if you're not, it doesn't take a whole lot of technical know-how. The, um, ASL3 platform, which is now what those run on is all, yeah. uh, web browser based and they're very easy to set up. So super easy to base. So if you were an early all-star user and you weren't, you were struggling with, uh, setup, it's much, much easier these days. And if you don't know what to buy, uh, reach out to Kits for Ham. They have contact information on the website. That's right. Super great at helping you out. Pick what would work for your situation the best and, and get you, get you on the air a different way. Rory, what's your number two? My number two. So the Explorer Backpack, Modular Backpack Series, so from uh, Gigapart, specifically the MBP30. So this is something I learned the hard way with my, I keep bringing up my California trip. That was a learning experience for me. I need a better way to take my FT891 places. So the, um, the Explorer Backpack with the 891 insert, that nice. is, I believe, something James owns. He has... I do has that and I should have bought it. Um, it would have made packing and traveling a lot easier. And it is on my list for next year for sure. There it is. 
Um, definitely a, a modular selection, modular, modular solution, I should say. Um, they have all the options for all the popular portable radios. And uh, even without that, it's just a really good backpack. I saw one hand, I've seen what James has hands on, but I also took down at Dayton Hamvention last year, spent some time looking at one closely and uh, impressed with what it can do. So it's, it's a good way, a safe way to carry your stuff when you need to, uh, when you're hiking, when you're traveling, just even in the car, it's just a, a better way to pack everything together and not have it flying all over the place. Yeah. I, I, great, great suggestion. I love this backpack. It's not the cheapest backpack you can find. However, it's very comfortable. Uh, the pad, the, the straps are pretty padded. Uh, it works well with the moder the accessories they have down here. So I also have the 91, uh, bag that my 891 just slips nicely in there, adds a little padding. Uh, that bag is also great because you can throw it in your suitcase if you're traveling somewhere and, you know, basically have a little extra padding on your radio. But the fact that this bag has all the Molly pockets and just general pockets and zippers and everywhere you want to store things and it opens up wide, man, it's a great ham radio backpack. They really did a great job with it. I will also say that if you're wondering what the MBB 20 versus the MBP 30 is, the only difference is the 30 is of sailcloth material and it's actually water resistant, which uh, if you're going to be out on the trail and you don't know what the weather looks like, uh, it will protect your gear from getting wet. Uh, the MBP 20, only 69 bucks though. So if you know that you're going to be uh, in controlled conditions, I think the MBP 20 can save you a couple bucks and uh, you get the same exact layout. It's compatible with all the same internal bags. Uh, it is a cool bag. It's on my list to buy, uh, but I don't think that the X10 has a, a, a built-in sleeve yet. So uh, I, I, I don't know if I'm going to get one until I get the 891 going again. Yeah, all right. So I think I'm back up right now in, in one of my final ones. And I have a bonus as well that I just recently discovered. But this is a general, I don't want to say advertisement. However, if you are also a new ham, uh, this is not the cheapest coax out there. By the way, DX Engineering makes some really good RG8X coax out there. That's a lot cheaper. But this is ABR Industries coax. Uh, it's a family-owned company based out of Texas. They do a lot of industrial coax, but they also have a ham radio coax builder. So this is their, this is 35 feet of ABR 174. Uh, it has their custom made. So I got my BNC wrappers on it. I got a toroid with seven on there. I got this orange sleeve on it as well. Uh, and I splurged a little extra money and I got my KHAKU on a little tag up here. Totally not necessary, but a little extra bonus. Uh, uh, nice. Again, I don't, I don't want to say it's the cheapest. So for 35 feet here, this particular coax was $85, give or take. Um, you can find some good promotional codes periodically. I know some other YouTubers have some good discount codes as well with ABR. However, um, again, it's not the cheapest, but, it, but it's good stuff, good support. Uh, good customization. Another organization, if you're unsure what you can want to buy or what you need for your purposes, send them an email, give them a call. They're there to help you. And I think that really goes a long way. If you're especially new or unsure, you're buying a gift for someone else, call them up. They'll help you out. And it, it is a, it's a good purchase, good company. Um, one thing I'll say about ABR here is uh, it's one of those things that if I got it as a gift, I would be extremely thrilled because I don't know if I would ever treat myself to such a nice piece of coax cable. <laughs> so it's one of those things that it's kind of like a little higher end. It's like giving somebody a really nice steak dinner, right? Like, it is. And, and, you know, there's a lot of other really good brands of coax out there that are for, the, let's say, the Ferraris or the Cadillacs of coax. Messi and Poloni comes to mind. Messy, yep. And, and it's not cheap either. Good coax is never cheap. Uh, it depends on your purpose and what your needs are. But again, as you said, it's a nice steak dinner. Treat yourself a little bit. It folds in your bag and then you're off to go. Um, but lastly, too, I, I discovered this actually the other day when I was at Costco. Uh, and this is a heated stadium seat, by the way. This is battery operated. So I was going to ask if you have a battery in your chair. Yeah, yeah. You can just kind of turn it on and this opens up and it, and it warms up and it you know, it nice. heats your tush, basically. Uh, however, uh, as a POTA operator, and I enjoy POTA, and it's winter here in Michigan, and I know there's a lot of other cold states out there, I had this basically on my seat. I had my car turned off, and I was comfortable and surprisingly very comfortable during my last activation. Uh, so there's lots of varieties of these out there. This one was from Costco. Uh, I think it was around $30. It right. came with the battery, the charger, everything you need. So you know, bonus, bonus there for you. 
As as a, a second year EV driver in the winter, they the the secret is heated seats make you feel so much more comfortable in cold conditions. Honestly, yeah. uh, it's shocking this for for a couple of cars now. So uh, heated seats make a big difference when uh, you're out there in the chill, uh, trying to do a little POTA activating in the morning. All right, my third one here, guys. Uh, this one is one that I previously owned, uh, and I aspire to move on uh, to a different model, but I wanted to pull it up here because I think it's a really affordable uh, and cool option uh, if you're looking for something to gift a ham that they probably don't have, but maybe they would love to, to have in the shack. And it's the Innovato uh, Ham Clock 4K. Uh, and I will tell you that the uh, countdown is on, and for very unfortunate reasons, the Innovato maker has uh, unfortunately come stricken with the the, the cancer, so uh, he is shutting down the shop. But it is a really good opportunity now to grab one. I think he would probably appreciate any sales that he gets at this point. Um, this 4K ham clock is new hardware uh, in the last year or so. It's more capable than the previous ham clock, and that means that uh, the processor is not going to be as saturated when it's running the ham clock, uh, and it's just going to be a, a better all-around user experience. Uh, it's a $60 uh, ham clock, and if you're not sure what a ham clock does, uh, it's going to give you, of course, the time uh, in whatever format you like, but it's also going to show you gray line. It's going to show you solar conditions. It's going to show you where DX spots are popping up. It's going to show you all kinds of different information, and these are information infinitely customizable, all these little windows that you see on the screen there. So I had their old version. Uh, I did get rid of it because I was thinking I was going to get a Geochron. If you're looking to take this to the next level and you have a $500 budget, I know it's 10 times as much. Uh, the Geochron 4K is also an option. Uh, the Atlas 2B is their uh, their current model, and they also have a really fancy new one that's close to $800. But I love the $60 Innovato 4K ham clock. If you're looking for an affordable gift uh, that is really trick for the shack, uh, put it up on a TV, uh, mount it on the wall, uh, you're going to have a whole lot of fun, and it's got a whole bunch of useful information. So that's my third one. Rory, what's your last one here? That's why I shot all the way to the moon and put the DX10 on the list. The I love it. FT DX10. <laughs> now, love someone it. might say, why would you put a $1,500 radio on the list? But here's my thought there. So say you have a family member or a spouse Someone just got their general ticket and and you have the money, so that's fine because you wouldn't be spending that money if you didn't didn't have sure it. Probably. But uh, say you have the money, you have a spouse that just got their general and they're not sure what to get. And I'm certain, 100% sure they would be happy with the FTDX10. So this radio that's is radio. something that's in all of our shacks. Um, I would say probably the majority of our local radio club here in South Lyon has these either in their shack or in their POTA kit. Um, it, it's a, it's a substantial radio for the price, for the size and, and the filtering and all the technology in it, your, your, uh, the person you're buying it for will be, will be thrilled. Um, I, I struggled with, should I put such a radio on my list for, for a gift idea? But if someone said to me, I have a few bucks, I want to buy my significant other or, or my friend or my kid a radio, this would be the one I would tell them. Uh, and it, it's a radio that will age well. They'll have it in their shack for years to come. Sure enough. Yeah, it grows with them. They will be, not be left wanting for anything with the FT DX10. I got one new owner of an FT DX10 in 2025. Got it sitting here. Upgraded from the Icom 7300 Mark you know, One. Love it. Great radio. Everything you said is true. I, I have mine. I purchased mine this year as well after using a, a, some others from from local hams, and I'm I'm certainly pleased with it. Okay. And I think we have our last one here. It's sort of a group recommendation, and it's one that uh, is free for you, uh, but uh, might make a difference in how you operate. Go ahead, Rory. So a few months or so ago, we had Sebastian from Ham2K Polo on the episode. Sebastian is a great friend of the podcast, and uh, his his product, Ham2K Polo, is what we consider the number one POTA logger. And on his website... Standard. At, uh, absolutely. On his website, he does have the buy me a coffee button. Shoot, shoot him a few dollars. It goes to his development. Go back and look at our, our episode with him. It'll talk about, uh, we talked about his his thoughts and where he's headed with the, with the platform and what he's planning to do. And if you do that, if you're a Polo user, you will get a little coffee cup next to your call sign anytime anyone works you on Polo. So uh, just yep. a, just another shout out for Sebastian and the Ham2K team for uh for what they do for the POTA community and for all of us as hams. Guys, awesome ideas. James, you want to close it out? Nope. I, I hope everyone enjoyed what we loved in 2025. Hope you guys got some great ideas out there. Also, don't forget whatever you found interesting in ham radio in 2025, share in the comments below, send us an email. Uh, we'd love to hear what you're doing. And with that, 73s, everyone. 73.